In this video, we're going to look to see what happens when we do reflect the unit cube in the plane, because it's 3D now, x is equal to zero. So first of all, we're going to look to see what the plane x is equal to zero looks like. That is this blue plane here, okay, because everywhere along here, this plane, the x coordinate is always equal to zero. Now, here we have the unit cube, so we let that's zero, zero, zero. But the interesting points are what happens to this point i, which is one, zero, zero, and the point in here, j, which you can see if I move it around a bit, which is there. This point here, j, which is uh, zero, one, zero, and this point k which is zero, zero, 001 under this transformation. So what we're going to do, we're going to reflect this whole cubed. And if we click here, we can get the image. And we can see that I goes to I dash here. K and J stay put because they're actually on the plane. And you can get the matrix very easily by just taking those points one, zero, zero, and see that I dash maps on to minus one zero zero and the other two stay the same so zero one zero becomes zero one zero and k k dash becomes zero zero one and therefore if you write each of these as column vectors so this is the i this is the j and this is the k it gives you the matrix for that particular transformation and you can do that for all the transformations like that so have a look at it here in 3D, you can just move it around. And again, this GeoGebra app I will put in the notes of the video. Okay, so this has been a video to show you about reflecting the unit cube in a plane and finding the uh, matrix. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.